Jim Man's letter number four, written and reported by Jojo Mac. By now, it should be known that the source of these letters from Ninja Man is Empress Misha. The words written in these letters are solely Ninja Man's. However, as Ninja Man is not in the position to orate his words, I have been commissioned to present his thoughts to the public. I am Jojo Mac. This is a letter from Ninja Man to his fans, bloggers, and well-wishers. Ninja Man says this, Though I am in jail, when in the public space inside the facility, it's not so hard to know what is happening on the outside because the guards will sometimes alert us about what's going on. Not necessarily for us to give a response, but to keep us in the know. To the bloggers, I was once again made aware of the headlines that some bloggers are using to sensationalize their blogs, some as blatant as Ninja Man Sends Gun Man. I do understand that topics like that will draw attention to your blogs, but if it's not a question, then it's a statement, and these statements are considerably irresponsible. When you put stuff out there in that manner, it can cause problems for everyone involved. Please use caution when you make the decision to speak about someone in such manner, because there may be consequences. Let me make this clear. I, Ninja Man, did not and would not solicit anyone to cause physical, psychological, or emotional harm or distress to anyone, even when they say the most damaging things about me. Also, please be careful how you use old videos of me in your blogs. I do not have a problem with anyone using my videos, but you cannot use them in such a manner that it becomes a liability to me. Now, to all my fans and well-wishers, Please note that I have great appreciation for you standing up for me against naysayers and those trying to tarnish me in ways that are unacceptable to any human being with even an ounce of decency. When intelligence conquers ignorance, there's absolutely no reason to be retrospective. Please do not use the letter to address anyone as I have made clear my thoughts and do not wish to prolong the situation. I do not want anyone threatened or hurt on my behalf. I would not endorse such behavior. I have made my name on pure talent. I am one of the columns in our industry and nothing will ever change that. And though I find myself in the situation I'm in, I want you all to know that I do not countersign any kind of revengeful behavior. I want you, my fans, to know that I do believe other people may be using this situation to act on how they feel, given that so many people have been offended. I really do not believe you, my fans, are the ones issuing threats to anyone, but people can and will use this situation to cause harm under the guise of being a Ninja Man fan. Please do not use the letter as a discriminatory tool. You, my fans and well-wishers, have always shown me love, and I reciprocated with the same sentiment. Please know that it has not gone unnoticed. Without you being in my corner from the very start, there would not be a ninja man to talk about. You're a big part of the legacy I have created, and though I know some of you would go to the ends of the earth in my defense, I would never want to see you end up in a place like this. Just remember that you have your families to look out for. I want all of you to appreciate the freedom you have and not do anything to give it away. I have learned to leave certain issues in the hands of the Almighty. He has brought me through many things and he has not stopped working on me. My intention going forward is to inspire and motivate. Sometimes you're put in a certain situation because there is work to do that you would not have otherwise gotten the opportunity to do. The Almighty has a way of slowing us down sometimes so we can use some of the other talents that we ignored. Don't get me wrong. I have always tried to inspire, motivate, and help others as a free man. But sometimes we are placed in a position where all we can do is what God requires of us in its entirety. Don't fight a physical battle for me. Fight a spiritual one. Keep praying for me that God will one day see this as mission accomplished and I will get to see you again in person, doing all the things you love me for. Remember this, when life gives you lemons, don't just make lemonade. Make a cake to go with it. As I close out this letter, bear in mind that love conquers hate and that will never change. Love and protect each other and help to make the world a better place. Thanks to all of you. Until next time.